Musk, why I need to pay you 20 bucks for the Llama 2 level of your Grok 1? I really don't understand it. definitely change how I think about just like default trust of people and planning for Biodronka. Nice shot. Don't work properly, I need to help. Okay, Grok 1 now is open source software. Two days ago, Igor Babushkin uh, published it all of the weights and some of the running code for Grok 1. By the way, Igor Babushkin, please answer on my emails uh, that I sent you because I want to create an interview with you on my Russian language channel AT Brada. Please, I'm waiting. Please respond me. So XAI uh, and Elon Musk and Igor Babushkin, all of them together open source Grok1. And what can I say about it? Looks like Elon Musk uh, did it only for shown OpenAI who is open now. As you know, Elon Musk has have some troubles with Sam Altman and with OpenAI company. And several days ago, Mira Murati, CTO, uh, OpenAI company, provided an interview for Wall Street Journal. And in this interview, she said that OpenAI trained their new model, Sora, video model, only on public, publicly available ad license data. And her response wasn't looks like pretty honest, honest and sounds a little, little bit embarrassing. And right after this interview, Musk tweeted that he will open source Grok 1, just to show to Sam Altman who is open. Because OpenAI, by thoughts of many people, not so open as it should be. But I want to remember you that open in the OpenAI company name, it is not about open weights or open code. It is about open uh, appliance of uh, LLMs. And as far as I know, right now you can use NGPT 3.5, NGPT for Turbo. So, yep, they're really open in their manner. But let's move back to the Grok 1 and uh, understand a little bit deeper what is this model capable of. Um, so in the repository say that it is rough base model checkpoint, the Grok 1 pre-trained phase, which concluded in October 2023. And this means that the model is not fine-tuned for any special applications such as dialog and other ones. During these 24 hours, uh, Grok repository uh, had 20, almost 25,000 stars on GitHub. Really good result. And what's the inside of Grok 1? Inside of Grok 1, we can see the model with 314 billion parameters. And it is pretty huge amount of weights, amount of parameters. It way more than uh, Llama 2 have. And I still don't understand how so big model can provide answers more stupid than Llama 2. Because I worked a lot with Llama 2. I tested Grok 1 and Grok 1 really on the same stupid, stupidity, yes, stupidity level as Llama 2. But it has four times more parameters. How it can be, I don't understand. But anyway, 314 billion parameters and looks like Musk trying to make some trick with P number, but he missed uh, numbers of digits before the, uh, the period mark, you understand. This is mixture of eight experts uh, with two active experts and this model has 86 billion active parameters. Context size uh, around 8,000 tokens. Also, it has uh, 64 layers and support 8-bit quantization. If you want to start this model on your local machine, 
just do not try it because for starting this model you need at least eight graphic accelerators or video cards with almost uh, 80 gigabytes VRAM on each of them. And it is approximately 340 uh, gigabytes totally. It definitely cannot be launched on your Corvettes. Just don't try it. Uh, Grok 1 has a patch 2.0 license. It means that you can use it uh, even for commercial purpose, but you just need several thousand bucks per month for hardware environment. But who cares? And there are no any research papers around, around Grok 1. So Elon, we're still waiting for a researching paper. Please provide it. So that's all about uh, open sourced Grok 1. And now I want to share with you my short review on Grok 1 that running under Twitter, under the X. I paid must 20 bucks. Uh, I uh, subscribed to X Premium Plus subscription just for trying this creepy... Uh, unbelievable, cool, like, like Musk said, Grok 1. And what can I say? It's totally shitty. Really, it's totally shitty in comparison with all of uh, closed source models. It is nothing. It works on the same level, uh, from my personal opinion, on the same level as uh, Lama 2, as Mixed Trial 8, X7B, and different bunch of top open sourced LLMs. But I still do not understand how LLM with 300 billion parameters can work on the same level as the LLMs with se just 70 billion parameters. Mask, how it works, please provide us research paper. We want to know the truth. Next one uncomfortable uh, point is that Grok can speak only English. Yep, it understand different languages. It understand Belarusian, Ukrainian, Russian languages that I tried. But it can answer only on English. Only. I tried a lot of uh, ways to ask him or her, ask it, answer me on Russian, Belarusian, and nothing works. Not grand money trick, not, not uh, a theater trick, not 20 bucks trick. Nothing works. It explain, uh, it answer you only on English and it is really inconvenient. Especially um, in the case when your fucking LLMs works in non non English native countries, how people in these countries should work with your LLMs if they do not understand English, Elon? Also, as we know, Grok uh, trained tra trained on tweets on Twitter data, but it knows uh, about tweets from two weeks ago, so it doesn't know anything about latest tweets I tried. Also, Grok less educated in factology uh, in comparison with ChatGPT and Cloudy and, and Cloud and Gemini. And as I said before, it works on the same level as Llama 2 from, from my perspective. It hasn't multi-chats. Almost all serious services, chatbot services, I mean, now has multi-chats. You can Type just plus button and start new conversation and then return back to old conversation. What you can do in Grok, you can click plus button, but after you click on it, all of the previous conversation disappeared. Just forget it. Just forget it forever. No multi multi chats. What's the mess? Why it working in this way? I don't understand. And also there are no any customizations. So you have not uh, something like plugins, like GPTs, like custom instructions, I don't know. Uh, there are no any features that you already have in Cloud, in Gemini, or in ChatGPT. Musk just provide us open sourced model that works on the same level as Llama 2. And by the way, you can start Llama 2 on chip server by yourself, for example. And he want to get the same price as we paid for ChatGPT. And ChatGPT works much more better from all the all of the perspectives. Gemini works much more better from all of the perspectives. Uh, Cloud uh, also works better from all of the perspectives. ChatGPT Gemini cost 20 bucks. Uh, Cloud cost nothing. Grok cost 20 bucks. 20 bucks for what? For nothing? Musk, 
you are really good commerce, you are really good businessman, but I have my brain inside. Uh, but I found uh, one good point in Grok. Grok really not aligned uh, by the different topics. For example, it provide me pro- provided me really understandable and good answer how to create how to create cocktail molotov. It provided me instruction how to create atomic bomb. But still, it cannot provide some harmful uh, advices, for example, about suicide. And it is totally okay. But when Musk said that Grok will be totally free for speeching, I realized that it will be really uh, totally free without any borders. But I can see that it has some kind of borders. It has some kind of alignment. But this alignment not so powerful as ChatGPT or Gemini or Cloudy has. Yeah, from this perspective, um, I think you can use Grok. So my main question after releasing Grok 1 into open source, Musk, why I need to pay you 20 bucks for the Llama 2 level of your Grok 1? I really don't understand it. As for me, it is better to spend it on ChatGPT or on Gemini and get uh, in addition two terabytes of cloud drive or just use Cloudy API, and th- there you can use this 20 bucks for, for, for several months. That's it from my side for today. Please subscribe to my Twitter. I po- I'm posting there a lot of news related to AI. Subscribe to this channel. Smash like button if you like my daily vloggings. Share this video with your friends, and we'll see in the next episode. Bye.